Hey, welcome back. I've said it before, if you want someone to teach you how to weld, I'm not your guy, I'm not a pro. But today, maybe we can at least learn something together. I wanna to try a few different weld settings for welding in patch panels and thin sheet metal. Recently, I've seen a lot of videos of people using a high voltage and high wire speed for welding thin sheet metal. Uh, I want to try that because they always talk about how there's a minimum minimum amount of grinding to do afterwards. I don't like grinding welds. Uh, and they talk about really good penetration. So you're not, if you do grind your welds, you're not removing all the strength that you had. So I want to see how good that works and how much cleanup it really needs, what the finished product is. Um, I've done this before somewhat experimentally just changing settings and trying it but this time i actually want to record what we're doing and figure out a good set of base settings for most of the sheet metal in this car because there's a fair bit of welding to do yet i have these 16 gauge uh discs that i got and i want to try and weld up the holes that were used to access the seat mount bolts from underneath the car we don't need those anymore so it's a good opportunity we got four per side, so we got lots of settings we can do. Um, what I want to do is just use the chart that's on the inside of this Millermatic welder, and we're going to set it for 16 gauge first. Uh, it's hard to accurately measure this floor because I don't have a good seam to measure it with the calipers, but I think it's 18 gauge or 16 gauge. We're going to set the welder for 16 gauge material, whatever the chart says. And then we will, we'll, so we'll do like one disc with that. We'll do another disc with, with settings for material that's twice the thickness. Uh, so that'd be uh, eighth inch material. And then we will do one that's three times the thickness. Uh, and that is uh, three sixteenths material, right? Yeah, yeah. So we'll see whatever the welder says for those and we're just gonna try it. And then the fourth disc on this side will be, if I see there we need to do something really different, I'm gonna try uh, different settings and I'll tell you what those are while we're doing it. So before we just start welding stuff in, let's uh, clean up around the, the holes where we're gonna put the patch panels. And uh, I think we're gonna need to get the hammer and dolly out and clean up the edges a little because got a little warp to them, a little bend. And I don't wanna try and you know hammer it out after I weld it, if I don't have to. All right, before we go any farther, let's mark these so we remember. So this one's gonna be whatever the chart says. This one will do two times the thickness. This one will do, let's pick, pick this flat one. This one will be three, come on paint pen three times the thickness and this will be whatever it's gonna be we'll see man this pen just sucks so this side is oh come on one more time zero three zero inch wire and I'll go over there and label that one that's gonna be the point zero two three wire with the same same scheme here Okay, 
So let's take a look. This is according to the chart, and I'm gonna say that that is a typical tack weld. Stands up a little bit. Um, I don't wanna touch it with my fingers. Okay, nothing's, no, oh, it's cold. That's a very small what, tack. I probably could have held it longer, but my experience with welding in these uh, subframe connectors was um, problematic to say the least. I still need to grind and re-weld a couple there. So I think I was being overly cautious. This is the setting for eighth inch. And yeah, it's about the same on this side. That one's really flat. This one's raised up a little bit. And then this is the setting for 3 16 And that, as you saw, was really quick tacks. It's still raised up a bit. That one's not bad. Like, it's not going to take much to clean those up. But then it wouldn't take much to clean this up. Let's look at the bottom side. Let me get down under here. Where are we at? There. That is the factory. That's factory setting there. You know, we got a little bit of a little bit of material on this side, a little bit, yeah. Uh, where is it? There's that one. There's the 2X. That's probably a little more heat through the floor. Uh, I guess I didn't clean it as good as I thought. A little booger on there. Now, the 3X. So the 3 16th setting, that one's protruding a fair bit. Uh, yeah, I mean, we got color on there. Man, I don't know. Well, uh, yeah, I think that's a... Uh, Hmm, yeah, it makes a difference. I think I held it for about the same amount of time. Uh, I think the last, uh, when I did the first six tacks, I had it set too low. Woo! Let's see what that looks like on the bottom. Like I said, we're learning something here. I ain't a pro. Yeah, so that's, that's the last one I did. There's the burn through and there's the first one. This is that higher setting. The wire speed set on 65. There's the 2x or the eighth inch. That's we still got some uh, penetration through there. And just whatever the chart says, there's a little bit. Hmm. I'm I'm noticing that there's I don't have these perfectly centered. So there's a little gap difference. I can see a little light through there, right there. Let me turn this off. There we go. There's a little more light on this side than there is on this side, so that's going to have something to do with it. So what I really want here is a fairly consistent tack, and it's either going to be the, the 2X or the 3X settings here. I'm going to go through and do a whole bunch more tacks and basically fill these in, and uh, we'll take a look at it after I'm done. Yeah, so those are little tiny tacks, and they're fairly raised up. Those are a little better. And these, yeah, they are the flattest and the widest. And they have fewer, uh, you know, the little pits in the top of the weld. I'd say this is the winner if I can get used to it. It seems a little tricky. I'm just, I haven't done it before this hot. Let's look at the bottom real quick. So there's the standard setting. Not great, not terrible. That is the 2X setting. Some of those did not melt all the way through. And here's the 3X. It's strange that they still didn't all come through. I'm gonna guess that that's because of the, the variance in gap. 
I do see a lot of people talking about leaving a bigger gap to get better penetration through both pieces of metal. So the driver's side with the .023 wire was basically just a rinse and a repeat. We started off with the recommended settings and then we went to double the thickness settings and then triple the thickness settings. And I'm not sure if it's this wire, this oxidized wire that's coming back to bite me again, or if it's my drive rollers are getting worn and can no longer work well with that small wire, um, or what, but it would pop and hiss and it didn't want to give a good tack until I got about halfway through the process and it cleaned up a little bit and then it started sticking to the tip. So I think I'm just going to go back to the 030 wire and finish this up and just use that from now on until I find a spot where it just doesn't work. And if I have that problem, then I will try the 023 again. But for now, the 023 is going to sit on the shelf. Now what I should say about the 023 wire is it was basically doing the same thing as the 030. The recommended setting was a little higher, the welds weren't uh, as big around, and as you got higher and higher in the settings, they laid flatter and spread out more. So just about the last thing to do is grind down all the tacks that are protruding and uh, see what they look like when everything's brought down to the level of the original sheet metal. I took a flap wheel on my grinder, a pretty new flap wheel with lots of grit to it, and tried to spend as little time on the welds as I could and just hog it off real quick. And once I got the bulk, I got the little air sander out, the little uh, 90 degree die grinder with a sandpaper disc on it, and just feathered them out, cleaned them up. All right, so here are the results and my final thoughts on the patch panels. I had quite a bit to sand off of here and I still haven't gotten it all off because it started getting a little too warm. This one was better, took less sanding and had some pretty good penetration through the floor. Uh, it's not quite even, I might have to hammer that a little bit, although this is not going to be seen. Decide what I'm going to do there. Now. The really hot one. As you can see, it's basically sanded down to the original sheet metal. I tried not to get too much into this because uh, I didn't want to thin this out. What I found interesting, if I can get it on camera, oops, if I can get it on camera, as you can see, oh, this is going to be tricky. Basically, it looks like there's a little bit of undercut on the edge of the weld and this setting also had slightly bigger craters than I thought and they went a little deeper while well, they didn't go as deep well no wait what I'm trying to say is the weld did not stick up as far so the crater that was in there actually was fairly deep so I'm gonna decide if I'm gonna fix those because uh, really any crater in a weld is a stress concentrator so you don't want that but they're tiny hmm. oh there you go there you can see the edges where they were undercut just a little bit because this is pretty flat here i can feel a little bit of material there but not much that's pretty flat now one final thing that little hole I'm going to put a piece of copper on the back side. We're going to try the high settings again, the high voltage, high wire speed, and see if we can fill that with a copper backer or if we're just going to melt these edges away. Well, I'd say that went pretty well. 
That's a really flat tack, that final one. Well, all in all, I'm fairly pleased with that. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments if you've got experience doing this. Uh, somebody's going to tell me that I'm doing it completely wrong. That's fine. But if you're going to say that, you got to tell me why. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that 023 wire. Maybe I'll get some new drive rolls for the welder and try it again. But in any case, thanks for stopping by. Uh, leave a comment down below what you think. And maybe we'll try something different next time. We still got a few more holes to fill. I didn't do those last two uh, circles in there just because I didn't want to throw more variables in. Uh, yeah, let me know.